Hi, this is Ashford and Database Viewer Solution Viewers. Today, I'm going to show you uh, how to import and export a Power Pages site from one environment to another. There is a uh, detailed information in Microsoft Learn on how to do that, but today I want to walk you through step by step to do that so it makes it easier for you to do it and it's useful if you're trying to move one site from one environment to another for any reasons maybe you have a client that you want to move site to from your power page environment or you know at your company you want to move it to a different environment so it becomes useful at some point the first thing you need to do to do that is basically download Visual Studio Code to your computer and then once you download that you need to create an extension download the extension power platform tools so you can easily do that and there's a and how you basically create that is listed on Microsoft uh, so I'm going to put the link of Microsoft on how to migrate an environment to another environment. It, it used to be called Power Portal, now it's, it's called Power Pages. But the process is the same. So the way we're going to do this, after you download Visual Studio Code and download the extension Power Platform Tools, we can start a step-by-step -step process to migrate an environment to an, um, a site from one environment to another environment. Also remember that tables and forms will not be uploaded to that new environment. So you need to create those tables and pages in that new environment after you upload the site. And also if you have a blank environment, didn't have any site Power Pages site, uh, you need to create a blank site just to keep it there. So, because Microsoft needs an hour to make your environment ready to build a Power Pages site. And if you try to upload a new site without having a blank site to that environment, or it won't let you upload. It's gonna give, it's gonna give you an error that the site is not ready for power pages so that's that's an important step before attempting to upload power pages to the new environment or target environment so to start you can put the CD after you're gonna have to create a new terminal in power visual studio and under that terminal you're just gonna have to put a new terminal and then you can it's going to give you a PS with a directory in there. You can put CD backslash and then you can put CD and the folder that you want that source site as, as a site from the source environment to be downloaded to. So in my case, I have a folder under my C drive called Power Pages. You can call it anything or you can put any directory on, on there. Um, then you, from Microsoft website, you're going to copy all this basically without the name and the URL. So the name here, I, I call it portal dev and my URL is basically the environment, your source environment URL and you, to access this, you can go to advanced setting and you copy everything from, um, the URL until .com anything after .com you don't copy and here you can call it name I call it portal dev but you can call it anything and now it's going to authenticate and connect you to that source environment um, once you're connected it's going to give you the star there that is active now what we want to do is next step is you copy and paste that statement pack of list and that's basically it's going to show you all the environment that 
you have. Uh, and it's going to list everything with the asterisk here under active, which is that's my uh, source environment. And it's index 5. Each one will be indexed a number. Now also you might want to check what is the index number of your target environment, which you do the same thing. You go to that target environment, advanced setting, or admin center and environment, and you can select that URL uh, from the admin, advanced setting, everything until .com. And if you're doing it from the admin center, you go to environment and you have to, and you read which one is that, which URL is that under environment. You click on that environment and it's going to give you all the information about that, uh, the URL and everything from the admin center if you don't want to go to the advanced setting. Now the next step is to download authenticate again just in case to the source environment which you put that pack or select and, and next to index you put number five which is my source environment. Now it's connected again. Now the next step is to list all the sites on this environment. So you put pack PA portal list and it's going to connect and then here it's going to put the site which is the website ID which is we need for the next step. Now on the next step we want to copy and paste from Microsoft website all this statement without the path and without the website ID because this is what we are going to put. So our path here is going to be the C Power Pages the folder that you want to download to and website ID is the website ID that we just uh, uh, came up with from the previous step. So now we're ready to, and you hit enter, and now we're ready to, it's going to start downloading everything to that folder. Now everything got downloaded to that folder. Now the next step is going to tell you that it's successfully updated successfully and uh, Power Pages website downloads succeeded. Now the next step is to put that pack to connect to the target environment, which is the same thing, pack or select. And in my case, the target environment was index four. And we hit enter and it's going to connect to now the next step is to upload what we downloaded into the target environment. So from that folder that we downloaded everything to. Now keep in mind that the path when we download to is going to create a zip folder called, in my case, is blizzdds. This is my zip folder. But in your case, it could be a different zip folder name. And when you put the path, you want to make sure that you put that zip folder as well. So uh, you put and you copy from Microsoft website that until path and you open a quotation mark, you put that new path that you downloaded to uh, in your C drive. In my case, this is my folder where my site was downloaded to and that's the zip folder that I put here, I add here. Remember, this is not, it wasn't here. I added it in this step. And I hit enter, and now it's gonna start the downloading, the uploading process to the new target, and to the target environment. So it uploads everything except whatever it downloaded, it's gonna upload on there. Now, it's gonna tell you successfully uploaded website data. Now let's verify that it was updated, uploaded. So now we authenticate to the target environment, which is in my case, pack authenticate, select my, it was index four. I connect to it now. I, I ask it to list all the PA portal list on there.
and so it's going to list everything all the sites i have on there so i had a blank site just to set up the environment to accept power pages so now it added that new site to my next in, to my so i to my new in, my target environment so in this case i have two in, uh, two sites my blank site and this is a new site i uploaded from the source environment to the target environment i hope this was a helpful session for you all and hopefully we'll see you next time